Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're doing the theorem that states the perpendicular drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right angle triangle to the hypotenuse. It divides the triangle into two triangles that are similar to each other and similar to the original. Now what you must understand by the words similar. Similar means that they are equiangular and as soon as they become equiangular it means that they're sides are in proportion. Now what are they saying? They are saying that a perpendicular, now if perpendicular is drawn, it means that when the line is drawn, it will make a 90 degrees at where it meets. Now this perpendicular is not just drawn anyway. It is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right angle triangle, which means if I have a right angle triangle, so my right angle triangle is AB, C. And then from the vertex, which means from the tip of the 90 degree, so where the 90 degree is, not any other point, not B or C, where the 90 degree is, I have a line drawn. So it's drawn from the vertex of the right angle to the hypotenuse. Now you know if this is the 90 degree, then the hypotenuse is the opposite side. So it's drawn from the vertex to the hypotenuse. So it's touching BC, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle. What will it do? The fact that they said perpendicular means that when it touches the hypotenuse, it's going to make a 90 degree angle also. What do we end up with? They are saying that we end up with three triangles. You end up with triangle ABC, you end up with triangle AEB, and you end up with triangle AEC. So if you look, that is my one triangle. Then this is my second triangle and last the entire triangle is my third triangle. So you get three triangles and what is special about these three triangles is that they will all be similar to each other. They will be similar, so this triangle will be similar to this triangle, which will be similar to that triangle. When they say similar, they mean they are equiangular. And as soon as you know equiangular, then you know you can use the rules of equiangular, which says that the sides are in proportion. Okay, to prove this theorem, you first have to write down what is given. We are given that E1 is equal to E2 which is equal to 90 degrees because they tell us perpendicular bisector. Okay, so perpendicular means 90 degrees. Then they tell us that angle A is also 90 degrees. Why? Because they said it is from the vertex of a right angle triangle. Can you see? It's from the vertex, the top or the point of the right angle triangle. That is what is given. What do they want us to prove? They want us to prove that the three triangles are similar. So they want us to say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABE, which is then similar to triangle AEC. Now, how do we go about proving this? If I take triangle ABC, let us work with triangle ABC and triangle AEC. In triangle ABC, we have that angle A, which I told you since they cut, I don't like to call it that, so it would be BAC. Remember, we look from where it's coming. So it's coming from B and C, so it's BAC. Is equal to angle E2. Angle BAC is equal to angle E2. And the reason for that is they both 90 degrees and that was given. Then we have angle C is equal to angle C. And the reason is that it is common. Now, if that is the case, then this triangles are equiangular. Because remember, you only need to, you only need to prove that two angles are equal 
to prove that they are equiangular. Why? Because if two are, ang are equal, the remaining angle will have to be equal because sum of angles of triangle equal to 180. So the remaining angles will have to be equal. If two are equal, then the third one has to be equal. Now let's do the same thing for triangle AEB and triangle ABC. So again I'm working with triangle ABC, but now I'm working with triangle AEB. We have again that angle BAC is going to equal to E1. Why? They are both 90 degrees and this was given to us. Then we have that angle B is going to equal to angle B because they are common. Now once we do two angles, we can immediately say that the triangles are similar. If triangle AEB is similar to tr triangle AEC and then triangle ABC is similar to triangle AEB, I can now say that these triangles are all similar to each other and that is what they wanted us to prove right in the beginning. We had to prove that the three triangles are similar. Thank you for watching.